Hey Diamonds, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be talking about a heavy one. As you can see, I have no makeup on, no lashes on. Hay fever has been kicking my ass the whole week or two. So I just had to literally take that off straight from work. As is I can for, I'm sure all of you diamonds out there when you finish work. And especially if you've been wearing makeup of any sort, you just want to get it off and have a fresh face and just put on your skincare. So that's what I did. I lathered my face with lovely creams and I feel good. Um, so before I go into the heavy stuff of how to continue your life after loss, um, I want to talk about a bit about this drink that I'm drinking. So if you get your drinks, get your drinks because you definitely need a drink with this um, topic. It's not, it's a deep topic, but it's necessary as well um, because it's something that I struggle with. You know what I mean? The, no one has, no one that I know has ever, has perfected losing anyone. So um, with this drink, I'm, I actually am subscribed to Naked Wines. Um, I would tell everyone to subscribe to them. You get a crate of wines of your choice. You can choose from red wines, a mixture of, you know, red, rosé or, or white. Um, or you can get champagne and Prosecco, which is up my street. And um, they support independent wine uh, makers. So the one that I'm drinking today, excuse my French, is called Domaine de Plaisance. Um, and it basically is a mixture of Colombard and Savignon, which I've never seen before. It's an independent winemaker, which I love. Um, very nice. It's a dry wet wine. Quite nice, actually, I must say. Uh, goes down very nicely. So I will be enjoying a little bit of this tonight. So you'll see the details down below anyway of Naked Wines. I'll give you all like the discounts for that. Um, and also I've got a little clip before we go into the deeper stuff I've got a little clip of me doing my hair now as you can see my hair is very um, very thick now what I've stopped doing is I've stopped straightening it because I feel like you know straightening it is like it's no it's not health healthy for my hair because I bleached my hair I basically don't want my hair to fall out so that being said, I either roller set my hair, which takes forever. I'd rather go to hair just and get that done. Or if I'm washing my own hair, the most I do is blow dry it. But I always use a heat protectant. That is a must. But before I put that on, I used a Desfito Carotene um, Extreme. And it's an exception. It's a, it's a cream for ultra damaged, brittle and dry hair. But your hair is basically feeling like that after you bleached it and coloured it. So it's by... Um, it's by Fito Paris. I don't know if I pronounce it right. If it's Fito or Fito, it's one of the two. But it's a very nice brand. You only need, for thick hair like mine, you only need four pumps in damp hair. And it's more than enough because it's very creamy. As you can see, it's a quite creamy texture, you know, in there. So it's quite thick. You don't need a lot. But this stuff is lovely. Very nice for the hair. So I put that on if i blow dry and i use i'm a big fan of argan oil i just love the smell of it i love how it makes my hair feel um this is from uh, cream of nature um just a certified natural argan oil from morocco heat protector and smooth a, a smooth and shine polisher so just protects your your hair against heat styling smooths and adds exotic shine and it smells beautiful i just love it because it's certified argan oil you can't go wrong with that one okay so i'll put those those two down below i don't like to use lots of product in my hair because my hair even though it's thick it absorbs a lot of product but it also ends up layering a lot of products and they just end up sitting on top of each other and it's just too much product for my hair it can't kind of absorb a lot at once so i try and keep it basic too to three tops if I really need to. But most of it is in my hair washing when I shampoo and conditioner. I make sure I have a good conditioner, especially. Um, shampoo, my hair doesn't really care about the shampoo. It's the conditioner that really helps because as I've said to you in London, our water's the most hardest water in England. I don't know what the hell they do, 
but um, they do too much for water recycling and all that crap. Then you turn the one. Anyway, so I'm gonna pause and show you a bit of that. diamonds um going back to you know how to continue life after loss um there's no easy strategy basically um when i say this i know this sounds quite like hold on a minute but why um well i'll give you example my uh experience of somebody that i lost who was very close to me and i find it still hard you know what i mean nowadays um my dad he died when uh, 12 years ago and it's his anniversary this month. And, um, you know, it was the first time I actually went down to cemetery to see him after he died. Um, I didn't realise I was even that scared or that not ready to kind of, you know, breathe into that next stage of acceptance. I didn't know. And it was so nice when I went there. I went with my son and we had a really lovely day. There was a beautiful cemetery, you know, full of flowers, full of beautiful ornaments. It was just very, not like how you envision a cemetery, basically. Because I'm always thinking, oh, it's going to be ghoulish and some, you know what I mean? It's going to be some eerie kind of, uh, you know, place. But it, this cemetery isn't anyway, you know. I know the cemetery like, like that, that do exist, but this one is not that. Um, so he died at the age of 56. Now, that's pretty young, you know what I mean? That's quite a young age. Um, I didn't realise how young it was until I got to my age now. Um, so it was just like, oh, until I got into my 30s, then I realised, oh, shit, you know, it's quite a young age. You know, he hasn't even reached 60, do you know what I mean? So, um, that was quite top heavy. Um... And you know what, you, I, I still feel the same towards it than how I did when he, when he died, you know, initially, like 12 years ago. You know, you don't really get over it. Time is not a healer. A lot of people like to say this, and I don't know why they keep saying it, because they're not fooling anyone. Time is not a healer. Um, it really is that every day you just find a better way to cope with the situation that person has transitioned, that person has passed away. And I've got more comfortable with it. Hence why I'm able to speak to you guys about this. Because I wasn't be able to speak about this at all to anyone without crying and becoming an emotional wreck. Or becoming very upset. So I'm really glad that I've actually got to this point in my life. Because that's a really big thing, you know, in your life. You know, when you lose a parent that like, you've known all your life. They were your guardians. They were always there for you. Um, and he was, he was always there for me. His name was Peter, Peter the Rock. He was literally the rock of our family. So, you know, any kind of issues, he was always there. And um, it was nice to see, it was, I, I'm grateful that I got to have a father like that. I'm grateful. Now I'm more in gratitude and rather than missing him, 
I'm more grateful that I even had that experience with him, that I even had a father that really loved me and cared for me. You know, I mean, when I was younger, as a teenager, I did used to call him a monster. I mean, there's nothing new there, but I was rebelling to the highest heavens. <laughs> so to me, he was a monster, but he wasn't, you know what I mean? Because now I am a parent. I'm like, well, I see like where you're coming from now. Do you know what I mean? At the time then, I was not, I was not at that place. So, you know, that being said, um, whenever you have to deal with any form of loss, just know that you will find a way, you'll find a routine or a way which will help you get over them. Um, and not even get over them as in to forget them, but just to get over that grievance stage and that period of feeling so sad and so um just so like feeling so heartbroken because i remember when my dad died i felt heartbroken i felt literally like my heart was physically broken and um there's no feeling like that i just even though i used to sit with my dad when i was young my dad always used to explain to us uh girls that you know, he always explained to me that, you know, die, you know, I'm going to go before you. You do know that I'm older than you. I'm your guardian on this earth. But I have to go before you. That is the circle of life. And I used to be like, yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean? I got that part. But when you initially go through it, it's like a whole different ball game. I wouldn't, um, I wouldn't wish it on anyone, you know. But unfortunately, we do all have to go through it you know, at some point or another. And, you know, it can't be, the, it, it's not normal, it's not nature for it to be the other way around usually. I mean, I know some parents, they lose their kids, uh, unfortunately, God, you know, God bless them because I couldn't imagine that happening, I'm sorry. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't know if I, I don't think I'd be able to get to grips with something like that, you know, but that being said, us beings, we are amazing beings of the things that we can go through and the things that we can pull through and come out the other side and come back, you know, stronger, come back with so much strength and so much um, appreciation and gratitude towards each other. It's quite nice to see that we can still do that as beings. With all the crap that's going on in the world, as you know, um, you know, it's nice to know that there's still beings out there that can do that. So I'm, you know, I'm always in awe whenever I see anyone be able to get over anything traumatic like that and come out the other side and still be able to be positive and still be able to do what they're doing in their life and live their life, you know, to the best that they can. I find that commendable. So, you know, that being said, you know, what I mean, I've had a few hiccups as well you know what i mean i'm not perfect i live an esthetician life you know what i mean some days i just do not want to leave my house do you know what i mean like i've had days like that do you know what i mean and it's usually in this month where i just have i feel weak i just feel so depleted that i just need to i just become a hermit a recluse and i stay in my house and i completely mia you know what i mean no one will know where where i am they wouldn't realize I've just been in my house for days, but that's what I do best. You know, that's just my creature comfort thing as well. It's not that I feel like so like sad or bad. Like when I'm, when I'm in my house, I feel in comfort. You know what I mean? I feel like I'm, you know, in the best place that I can be. Do you know what I mean? If I go anywhere else, um, I don't feel like that's not, that's not going to be the right thing for me at that time. It's best for me to stay in my own comfort, do you know what I mean, my own surroundings, you know, and um, it happens, you know what I mean, it happens, we deal with grief in so many different ways, and, you know, I noticed that through my sisters, through my mum, you know, we all have dealt with it in a all, in a, all a different way, do you know what I mean, my mum, she just, she goes out every chance that she can get, but she doesn't just go out, out, she goes out like, for pilgrimages like with church friends and goes to church or goes to like women empowerment meetings and things like that. So she keeps herself just busy and active, which I think is healthy 
for her, especially for her. Um, so that's good. My little sister, I don't know where she's at with it, so I couldn't really talk for her. Um, she seems to be dealing with it okay. But I feel like everyone has their own ways of dealing with things. And it's, and it's good, you know what I mean? It's good to see how different we are when it comes to something that is of a similar pain, of a similar, you know, loss and feeling of how to now pick up yourself again, how to now, you know, keep on living life normally when you know that, you know, it, you're never going to be the same again, basically. You know, you're never going to be the same again. But it's always important to keep a balance. And you know what? Accept it. If you're not feeling okay, what I realise is when I'm not feeling okay, I accept it and I just let myself be in it for a bit. But don't let yourself be in it for too long. That's the difference. Is that just accept that, you know what? Yeah, you feel angry today. Or yeah, you feel very sad today. Or yeah, you just feel like to cry today. Accept it, let it be and let it go. Because the more you try to resist it, um, is the more that it's just going to build up and come out even worse um, or in a way that you won't be able to control, you won't be able to express yourself. So I always firmly believe in that, you know. And as I've said, Diamonds, you know, um, there's, there is therapy, therapy out there. A lot of us are scared to do therapy, especially in the UK. In America, it's a normal thing. They always go to a shrink. And it's not a sign of weakness. It's actually a sign of recognising and understanding that. You know what? You need maybe someone outside to speak to that is on that on a professional level that isn't going to use that information against you, you know, isn't going to, you know, judge you for it. They're just going to give you a bit of guidance of how to deal with it. Do you know what I mean? There's no right or wrong way of dealing with this. Um, but, you know, if you feel that you need that help, definitely reach out to someone. Do you know what I mean? Or let people know, because I even have a hard time doing that. I'm not going to lie. I'm very, like, keep it to myself. I'll deal with it. But in actual fact, that's not a healthy way of being. Do you know what I mean? That's not, that's not a right way. Because nobody's an island. You need someone to talk to. So... You know, that being said, diamonds, you know, remember, self-love starts skin deep. Start bit by bit, day by day, take it easy. I know some, some of you might have lost somebody very recent. Some of you might be like me where it's been years, but it still is, you still feel it inside here. And um, just remember, you're beautiful and you're loved. And God bless. Take care. By the way, diamonds, yeah, my house smells of like Tom Ford Black Orchid. I've got these wax melts from Essence True. It's my friend's company, like, that she's built up by herself. And these wax melts are the best wax melts I've had. And I'm not just saying it because it's her company. I'm saying it because every time I've got wax melts, they don't last not even a whole day with me. And I like to leave my wax melts on until the candle, until the tea light is done. So for me, I'm going to put a link below as well. Beautiful. My house smells 